Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. There has been a lot of uncertainty with the crypto space in general, China being the major economy who has given their comments about this new class of digital assets. Have they said anything about Cardano in particular though? Today, let us see what China thinks about the future of this sleeping giant, considering some of its recent growth and partnership. China has said that virtual currencies are not supported by real value and railed against what they called speculative trading. 2021 so far has seen a ban on crypto in China, which resulted in a massive meltdown within the market. The past few months have been ugly and a sad time for investors and crypto enthusiasts. However, positive narratives are starting to pop up from the global perspective regardless of what China thinks about crypto. In fact, one source showed that China has tried to ban crypto about 13 times now, and the effect of it is diminishing over time as they announce it. So how does this all tie specifically to Cardano? There has actually been some news about Nervos, which is an open source public blockchain ecosystem that has announced a huge collaboration with Cardano. The Nervos network, owned by Kevin Wang, is a well-respected Chinese startup known for working on layer one blockchain technology. This collaboration between Nervos and Cardano may very well bridge the gap between China and the crypto world. This might be a game-changing opportunity for Cardano and its ADA coin in becoming one of the most prominent cryptocurrencies in the Asian superpower. It is not unlikely for Cardano to evolve into a big cryptocurrency and gain momentum quickly in China. The main question that really poses itself is, how is Cardano meant to enter the country and begin growing there? Well, there is some great news in regards to this, which can hopefully answer the question. On May 18, 2021, Reuters posted an article titled China Bans Financial Payments Institutions from Cryptocurrency Business. The media outlets stated that China has indeed put a ban on cryptocurrency exchanges in the country, but has not necessarily prevented individuals from actually holding cryptos. In other words, the ban was more focused on financial institutions holding cryptocurrencies and payment companies who are providing crypto-related services. It however did not come as a total shock as the country actually put a local shutdown on cryptocurrency in Beijing back in 2017. The Chinese government was seemingly doing whatever they could to get Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to disappear from their economy and overall financial system. An article posted by CNBC on the 21st of June stated that the market crash happened after China's crackdown. The title of the article was Bitcoin Price Drops on China Crypto Mining Crackdown which saw the largest crypto's price fall to as low as below $30,000. As a result of China's moves, this great price drop also affected the whole crypto market, which also brought Cardano to less than $1.50. The more recent article published by the same network CNBC on the 7th of July 2021 also reported that the crackdown in China saw a large number of people arrested as they were suspected to using cryptocurrency in illegal ways. Regulators then increased the pressure on payment and financial companies, as well as banks, to put a full stop on providing cryptocurrency services. The same month of June saw Weibo, which is the Twitter equivalent in China, block accounts that were related to cryptocurrency. Based on those instances, the cryptocurrency situation in China definitely does not look good. However, the Cardano and Nervos project is more than likely to open new doors and opportunities for this fast-rising coin. It is clear that the Asian region still plays a great role in the crypto world. There was another article published on June 30th, 2021 on Investopedia titled, Are Bitcoin and Crypto Prices Totally Dependent on China? The article concluded that cryptocurrency doesn't have a total dependency on China. The Asian superpower continues to remain a major player in the crypto industry before China imposed regulatory restrictions and measures. The country actually held more than 90% of the total trading volume of the industry, which at the time accounted for $1.47 trillion. 
IOHK and Nervos had agreed on a collaboration that aims to connect the Cardano and Nervos networks, marks the collaboration between $2 billion ecosystems. The two huge networks have an objective for establishing a Bluetooth moment for the blockchain industry, in which users will be able to enjoy consistent experiences along any chain within the entire blockchain ecosystem. This will allow users to transact with the native currencies of both Nervos and Cardano, generating tokens that can be used across the two networks. This ultimately gives developers from both chains the accessibility they need for services and features. This increase in accessibility will allow both of them to create advancements in their decentralized applications, as well as an edge in growing their user bases. The Nervos platform will be offering IOHK DeFi apps developed on top of the Pluto smart contract and other functionalities through Cardano state channels and side chains. Developers explain that the combination of their technologies will ultimately remove the complexity, expense, and other inefficiencies. Both networks will maintain smart contracts, eliminating the requirements for custom code, also removing the risk of human errors. This bridge between Cardano and Nervos will also allow the users to develop assets that are able to take advantage of ADA's operational benefits. IOHK and the Nervos Network published an article on Medium.com last year which stated that the two blockchain ecosystems would work on collaborative research papers on future open-source innovations, UTXO model upgrades, and the creation of global accounting standard. Kevin Wang, Nervos co-founder, said that UTXO is superior compared to account models in terms of security, scalability, and privacy which are all essential elements in the DeFi space. Wang also stated that working on IOHK in developing and defining these standards can continue to provide a better alternative for the entire blockchain industry. This development is exciting for both networks, and much can be expected from this collaboration in the future. In general, this partnership between the two has been creating a lot of buzz and hype in the Cardano community which creates a lot of hope surrounding ADA's entrance into China. People are speculating that this partnership may very well be immense for Cardano and help it in the Asian market to develop into a larger cryptocurrency than it already is. The fact that China has held a very large percentage in trading volumes before the crypto ban shows that the Chinese population believes in the cryptocurrency space and has strong support for it. When given the chance, Cardano has already been seen as one of the more popular cryptocurrencies today, holding a spot steadily in the top 5 and currently holding a top 3rd spot. Cardano's ADA has experienced exponential growth since its inception in 2017 and currently holds over $73.88 billion in market cap as of this video. If Cardano succeeds in bridging the gap between China and crypto, in addition to identifying more initiative and collaborations, then it can help strengthen the price of ADA coins. China and Asia in general is a huge market, and if they can attract investors there then, ADA will have great potential to rise. This is in addition to Cardano's ongoing collaboration with Ethiopia. Investors might see ADA's performance push it to grow to as much as $5. The average Cardano price prediction for 2025 sits at the $10 mark. Even if price predictions may be as volatile as the market itself, the ADA token shows a lot of opportunity for growth. When thinking about all their project collaborations and a huge increase in interest among crypto enthusiasts, Cardano's value has steadily been increasing and the community continues to see supporters who believe in its long-term growth potential. With the ongoing development and project, it's not hard to see why Cardano is a crypto asset worth taking seriously. Will Cardano's momentum continue to grow in China and the wider Asian market though? How will it affect the price of ADA for the rest of the year? Only time will tell. The crypto market is very volatile. It may rise and fall at any time. So make sure to keep all these at the back of your mind as you make your investments. Always do proper and sufficient research and only invest the amount that you can afford to lose. If you're looking to learn more about business topics like this, stay tuned for our later videos. We will go in depth on various other topics that we're sure will interest you. 
Also, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. See you next time.